Hello everyone, it's Odumayawa Victor Ogunshola again and today I'm with us with another interesting topic in the field of business management. Today more specifically we're going to be talking about project management. So that's why I have titled today's video Introduction to Project Management. Today we are going to be looking exactly at what we mean by a project. What are the different examples of projects? What is a project versus BAU? By BAU, we mean business as usual. Project managers versus business specialists or management specialists. We are going to be looking at what exactly is project management. We are going to be looking at the project life cycle. We are going to be looking at the key deliverables uh, within each phase of a project. We are going to be looking at the importance of project management. We are going to be talking about the six key variables of project management. And then I will be telling you about uh, certifications uh, if you intend to be a certified project manager. So come back with me to the smart board, but I'll be doing most of the writing, as you know already, on the whiteboard. Thank you very much. So project management. Can we look at the picture that we have in front of us? Project management is about effective communication within the project team. So it's about teamwork. It's about analysis, analysis of the project itself. It's about budget, so there's money involved. How do we effectively utilize the money involved? Remember, it's always about limited resources, and therefore, when we have resources, it has to be used effectively and efficiently. It's about planning. It's about problem solving. Of course, the project has been executed to solve a particular problem. It's about milestones. So within projects, you have to finish one step and to go to the other step. And those steps in project management are known as milestones. It's about control. Elements of control has to be involved. After all, it's said to be project management. Don't forget that management is about forecasting and planning, it's about organizing, it's about controlling, it's about commanding. So when we talk about project management, it's about having controls in place uh, within project activities. It's about risk. How do we mitigate this risk? How do we identify this risk? How do we prepare for this risk? It's about goals. So already when we talk about project management, there is a goal that we want to achieve. We want to achieve a result. Okay? It's about deadlines. So project management, there are time skills involved. Therefore, deadlines are involved. And all these elements are involved in, for us to have an effective project management. Right now, if you come with me to the whiteboard, I'd like to tackle each of the uh, bullet points on the whiteboard one after the other. Thank you. Let us start by as asking ourselves, what is a project? Project? Question mark. What is a project? Firstly, I'd like to tell you that projects are temporal. Temporal. Temporary. So projects are temporary endeavors. Yeah? Projects are temporary endeavors. Undertaking, undertaking to create a unique, 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 unique product, service, result, or outcome. Full stop. Pardon my writing, but I'm going to read that out clearly to us. What is a project? A project keyword, temporal, which means project is different from business as usual, which means a project has got a start time and end time. So a project is a temporary endeavor undertaking to create a unique product, service, result or outcome so i think that's very clear enough when we talk about a project we are executing this project because we have to come up with a unique product or with a unique service or with a unique result or with a unique unique outcome it is temporal which means projects have so of course you can always rewind to see the definition of a project projects are Temporal. 
which means it has a start time, time, and a end time. Definition of a project. So I think we can take our first bullet point there, and that's done. So going on now, let's talk about examples of projects. Examples of projects. A project could be as simple as a wedding, which means the planning of a wedding. Could be wedding planning. That is planning a wedding. It could be as complex as the construction of a new railway line. Construction of a new railway line. It could again be planning of a matriculation ceremony for a university. That's a project. Yeah? Planning a matriculation ceremony. It could be as complex or international as uh, distributing relief materials for a war zone area. Distributing relief materials for war zone areas. So as you can see, projects can be simple or complex and they come in all forms and uh, uh, all in, within all industries. We are, it could be an agricultural project, okay? So those are examples of projects. You can always rewind if you want to get that part again. And I think we can take that now. Now we talk about projects versus business as usual. Projects versus BAU. By BAU, they will mean business as usual. So project is temporal. Temporal. Temporary, <laughs> temporary projects. And for business as usual, is ongoing. Business as usual is ongoing while project is temporal. My writing, my writing, my writing. Ongoing. Business as usual, project temporal. By temporal, again, we mean has a start time and end time. So this is the clear difference between uh, projects and business as usual. Thank you very much. I think we can go and tick that particular point now as well. And that's done. Project manager versus a specialist. Project manager versus a specialist. Please be informed that as a project manager, you can work on different projects across different industries. So as a project manager, you can work on different projects across different industries, but as a specialist, if you are an engineer, uh, you cannot work in finance because you're an engineer, isn't it? And if you are uh, in finance, you cannot work in, in, in engineering. For example, I'm a specialist teacher. I'm a specialist business management teacher. Uh, I could not work in the agri agricultural sector because I do not know anything about the agricultural sector. I could not work in the oil sector because I do not know anything about the oil sector. If I would work in these sectors, it would be training and development. Okay, so specialists uh, uh, are experts within 
particular industries. However, for a project manager, a project manager can work in any industry because the project manager is simply applying project management knowledge to uh, projects within that industry. So which means today, as a project manager, you might be working on a project in the aviation industry. And once that is completed, the next project for you might be you working in, uh, on a project in the agricultural industry. Once that project is executed, completed, the next project is that you might be working on a project in the educational sector. So with project managers, you can actually work in any industry. And that is project managers versus uh, specialist managers. Thank you. I think that is well explained as well. And we can give a tick to that, project manager versus specialist. The next point here, we have now have an idea what a project is. We have talked about examples of projects. We've talked about projects versus business as usual. We've talked about project managers versus specialists. Now, indeed, what is project management? Project management. Question, what is project management? Uh, firstly, before I define project management, we'll talk about what management is. Management, as you know, is about planning, and forecasting talking about management now planning and forecasting it's about organizing it's about coordinating it's about controlling and it's about commanding that is what management is it's about doing all this in order to achieve organization's goals and objective also in addition we can say management is the art of getting things done through people. This is what management is. But now, going specifically to project management, project management is the application, application of skills, knowledge, techniques, So project management, yeah, application of skills, application of knowledge, application of techniques, yeah, to project activities, activities in, in order to uh, enable, enable, yeah, or achieve successful successful projects I define that again project management application of skills application of knowledge application of techniques to project activities in order to enable or achieve successful projects what do we mean by successful projects that's the question Victor that's vague what do you mean by successful projects by successful projects yeah the project has to be on time, on budget, and on scope. So what is project management? Project management, application of skills, knowledge, techniques, to project activities so that we, are, we get a successful project. A project can be said to be successful when it is delivered on time, delivered within budget, on budget, and when it is within the scope, on scope. Thank you very much. That's done. I hope this will be very useful for project management students around the world. Done. Now, when we talk about projects, a project has got a life cycle. And the project life cycle is div divided into four phases. Let's look at, look at them together. Project life cycle. I like to put this board into four parts now. One, two, three, four. 
The very first stage of the project life cycle is called the defined phase. Yeah? Defined phase. Project life cycle, first phase of the life cycle is known as the defined phase. After the defined phase, we have the second phase, which is known as the planned phase. Planned phase. The third stage of the project life cycle is known as the implementation phase. Implementation, which means also execution. So we say implementation, implementation or execution. Execution phase. And lastly, uh, the uh, last part, last phase of the project life cycle is the completion phase. Completion. Completion phase. And that's your project life cycle. So at any point in time, it's either the project is within its defined phase, its planned phase, its implementation phase or its completion phase. So we want to mark that as done, project life cycle. Done. The next thing to talk about is key deliverables, which means when we talk about project life cycle, there are key deliverables at each stage, each phase of the life cycle. The key deliverables for the defined phase are, are known as the business case, business case yeah or the project definition definition documents these are the key deliverables in the defined phase of the project here this uh, key deliverable helps to determine what exactly the project is about business case Project definition document. It defines exactly specifications involved in this project. So this is the very start whereby the project manager needs to ask uh, the, 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 the owners of the projects what exactly the project is about. So the business case or the pro project definition document. That is the deliverable here. Once this is approved, the project can go on. And then we have uh, the plan phase. And the key deliverables for the plan phase are the project plan, project schedule, and the project budget. Project budget. So it's about time, it's about finance, and it's about doing the right things at the right time. And that's the second phase of the project and it's key deliverables. In the third phase of the project where you have the uh, execution of the project proper, the key deliverables are project manual. Because the project manual tells you exactly how to go about the projects. Then you have the change change, risk, and issue logs. And lastly, you have to update what's, whatever is happening. So you have the status uh, update reports, yeah? Status, status update reports. And these are the deliverables project manual, change risk and issue logs, status update report, are the project uh, key deliverables for the third phase of a project. And now once the project is completed, the deliverables to be expected are project archives. The project archives is where you store everything that happens within the project, can be used for future products, projects, then you have the lessons uh, length uh, log. Lessons length, yeah? Lessons length log. Okay? So you have the project archives 
and the lessons learned logs. And these are the deliverables uh, within the project life cycle. So as you can see, each phase of the project has its own key deliverables. You can always rewind that and, 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 and listen to me. And please feel free to cross-check this video with other videos from project management experts on YouTube or from your textbooks. Thank you. The next thing we are going to look at from, uh, so key deliverables, we give that a tick. Importance of project management. Why is project management important? What is he talking about? Why should I think about project management? Okay, so importance of PM, project management. We say it reduces cost, yeah? It reduces cost. With the right project management, that you use your budget appropriately. With the right project management, you save time. Of course, we say time is money. With the right project management, you get the right experts on the job, and then you have delivery once. Uh, so it saves cost, minimizes cost. It saves time. It saves time. It improves quality. It improves quality. Yeah. It helps helps to identify identify risk it helps to identify risk okay so it said it reduces cost it saves time helps to improve quality helps to identify risk so these are the reasons some of the reasons we can go on and on and add more points but these are some of the reasons why we should all use uh project management skills uh, when we manage our projects Thank you. We are about to end the video. Go on. It says, well, so we have to take that importance of project management. Six key variables of project management. Six key variables. Very interesting. Six key variables of project management. What are they? You know how I remember them when I studied? I say RST CBQ. RST CBQ. As students, you cannot remember everything. Sometimes you have to make an acronym to remember some things. So, six key variables are RST CBQ. How there is for risk. Within project management, project managers have to identify risk, mitigate those risks. Scope. The scope of the project has to be well understood. With respect to time, with respect to quality, it has to be well understood. Time. Remember we said that projects have a start time and end time. It's not business as usual. So if it's effective, um, project management must be delivered on time. Cost. Absolutely, this is... Uh, Important uh, variable for project management as well. And as an uh, um, effective project man manager, you're looking to reduce cost. Uh, benefits. As an effective project manager or for effective project management, it should be clear what the benefits of the project will be. Once you understand clearly what the benefits of the project will be, then you are able to embed that into all stages of the particular project. And Q there, as you would already imagine, stands for quality. At all stages of the project management, of project management, from the defined phase to the planned phase, to the execution phase, to the completion phase, quality must be embedded. So what we recommend as for quality is continuous improvement whereby you are making regular steps forward with respect to quality processes in this particular project. So these are the six key variables of project management. RST, CBQ, risk, scope, time, cost, benefit, quality. Six key variables of project 
management. Thank you very much. We get to the very last uh, point on the board. Now that we can give this a tick as well, I think. Lovely, jobly. This is good. Certifications. So when we talk about certifications, about project management, as far as I know, there are two uh, streams. We have the APMG stroke Axelos, Axelos, and we have the PMI. PMI meaning Project Management Institute. And I should say at this point, I am not in any way advertising for any of these two companies. I have no affiliation with any of these two companies. However, I, particularly myself, I am uh, certified with the APMG Axelos and I have the Prince 2. Prince to project management certifications. Prince to project management certifications can be divided into foundation and practitioner. Practitioner. And for the project management institute, the certification is known as PMP. PMP. So you would have to decide for yourself if you really enjoy uh, working on projects, if you would like to be a project manager, then I think you should get certified. And you can get certified by uh, uh, taking the certification with the APMG stroke Acelos or the PMI. PMI, Project Management Institute. If you decide to take your certifications with the PMI, the certification you would get is the PMP, Project Management Professionals. If you decide to take your certification with the APMG stroke Acelos, uh, this is uh, you, you get a certification for Prince 2, you will be certified in the foundation and practitioner approaches. The PMI, by the way, is mostly American, the United States of America, while the APMG stroke Acelos is mostly European, UK based. I was based in the UK for several years. I studied in the UK, and therefore, I am a certified project manager as I have the Prince 2 foundation and practitioner certificates of uh, project management. The good thing about it is, at least I know uh, with the APMG, there is a uh, live uh, register online and you can always check to see and your, and your name will appear if you are indeed uh, a certified Prince 2 uh, project manager. Thank you very much and I think that uh, those of us who are enthusiastic about project management should find this video very useful. Of course, you uh, know that I would always love to get your feedback. So, have you enjoyed this video? Kindly give it, give it a thumbs up on YouTube. Do you want to see some improvement from the video? You can send me an email at dmayoforyou at gmail.com. That's Delta Mango Alpha, Yankee Oscar Romeo, 4, that's figure 4, umbrella at gmail.com. Your feedback is always welcome, as I like to... Uh, and I love continuous improvement and I, I, and I love to deliver uh, effectively and efficiently to students all over the world, not just students, to management experts all over the world. Okay? Thank you in many languages. Thank you in English. Thank you well in Dutch. In my Yoruba language from Nigeria, West Africa, I say Eshio. Of course, you know that I will not go until I talk about my passion for African unity and the development of the African continent. So I say Africa must develop. Are you an African anywhere in the world? Please continue to work towards African unity and the development of the African continent. Thank you. I'll see you again with another interesting video in the field of business management. Thank you. Bye.